Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, so last night Tesla launched the new Model S refresh 2021 and the Model X as well. So let's check what's new. Just a quick look on the web because there is no pictures of the cars in flesh uh, yet. So uh, first look of the exterior, we can see the redesigned bumper has a nice lip on the bottom. We still kept this little cut. Um, chrome delete, as you can see, window frames, door handles and the side turn signals and cameras um, and on the back as well uh, this is the plate on the pictures you can see red calipers and it uh, looks gorgeous i like this minimal design i think the front bunk bird looks way better now uh, but um, and let's check the model x so i'm using the um, us web page and i really like the model x just looks more mature now um, so uh, let's check uh, the Model S. Um, so it's probably going to revert me. Yeah, I did that uh, to a Croatian web page. Uh, so I'm going to check the European uh, specs. 628 kilometers, um, 2.1 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers. Top speed is 322 kilometers per hour. That's impressive. And 1,020 horsepower. This is, of course, the plane. Um, new interior. So now this is a shocker. First thing that comes into your eyes is the steering wheel. It's cut off uh, flat bottom. It's actually square-ish. And um, another thing that most people missed talking about the refresh is the fact that when I zoom in, look at this. Something's missing. What? The lever for the gear selector. So Tesla came up with a solution with no gear selector look at this on the bottom no gear selector over here no gear selector so wow i'm really interested how did they made this how does it work i'm sure they made a excellent solution but it looks pretty good now uh, there's probably going to be aftermarket solutions adding this classic steering wheel but this is uh, something that needs to get, get used to and uh, this is also saying tesla saying or the elon musk uh the future is autonomous uh, obviously, so you won't need the steering wheel. All the in practical world, real world, I don't see this practical uh, when you're moving the steering wheel. It's a problem, uh, I guess. We'll see in the future. Also, uh, small details. I noticed that there's no more Tesla logo. It's just engraving or stamp uh, in the horn. And the buttons, uh, these are touch buttons. Now, there's going to be a different picture to show you. There's turn signals, lights, horn. Uh, washer fluid, cruise control, I think, and voice commands. And then you have this rollers. Not a huge fan of touch buttons or capacitive buttons, but I guess Tesla decided to uh, make it more minimalist uh, because there's no levers on either side. So I guess you're going to press here for the touch buttons. These are like some really, you know, super performance cars have this on the steering wheel. So I guess this is the philosophy Tesla was aiming at uh, as you can see here no shiny piano black finish on the uh, power windows and same as the door opening now we have a bigger screen um, in front of the steering wheel uh, so tesla decided to keep that we all thought it was going to be removed and uh, the new 17 inch screen a larger screen uh, actually I think it's maybe the same but if you change the orientation it's not anymore vertical it's a landscape uh it looks quite nice high quality made and uh, looks like the air vents are gone so they're same principle as on the model 3. Uh, we do have the redesigned side mirror and you can see that uh, the wood strip is moving on the doors as well so um, I like the new design and it's something we are expecting in the Model 3 and Model Y as well. Um, as you can see, here's the speaker on the back. It looks really high quality made and one's on the top as well. And moving down, we can see here the hazard lights. You can see two charging wireless charging pads for the mobile phones. I believe this probably slides in now, same as in the Model Y. And finally, look at this and this and this. There is ambient lights and of course over here so a really happy tesla finally decided to add that in um moving bottom so this kind of moves automatically and you can see here uh lights you can see uh, they illuminate uh so 
yeah so this is you can see the button is labeled now to open the doors and this is going by itself nice speaker on the top ambient lights so this is moving automatically and now the rear is also a huge change this looks like an s class with a middle uh, part going down get another look at the 17 inch screen uh, and the new steering wheel so uh over here as you notice you can remove this you have also two wireless charging pads on the back cup holders sorry this just moves automatically uh and you have the big screen so if we go down <clears throat> and also just one detail because this is the only picture of the rear also have a wood panel going here so it really looks nice so you have a uh, screen on the rear for the infotainment <clears throat> excuse me uh, USB-C now of course and you have the wireless this is how it looks you can get your phone 22 speakers on the back now <clears throat> even better and of course uh, plenty of space when you knock down the seat so um, impressive figures uh, you have the plate now with the three uh, electric motors so the long range has two one on the one on the front and rear and the plate has one on the front and two on the rear um, so this is the plate obviously with a spoiler and this is all black now so um, and maybe a new diffuser on the bottom you get the plate on the plate mounts to emphasize you paid extra money for the sport uh, performance model uh, new alloys I really like these uh, the design is really nice and so uh, this is European so you get Munich to or Amsterdam is like few routes uh, how much uh, versus Brussels Paris uh, Oslo Gothenburg so these are pretty impressive figures and what's really cool now uh, Tesla has made one cast so no welding uh, which means it's cheaper to produce and the structural body frame of the car is more rigid to impact and of course you can get here uh, a lot of options this is all in Croatian but I wanted to keep the Imperial specs so top speed is 322 on the plate long range 250 so um, yeah so let's just go to the order so the European um, web is still the same you can see the car and then you have to go to the next step uh, you can see the new alloys and you have the this is a creation prices um, so let's just see the long range gets 663 kilometers of range plate gets 628 a little bit less and then the plate plus gets 840 plus kilometers of range and it looks like they're confident they're gonna e have even more so this is impressive this is this this has reached the um the range of classical cars uh with the combustion engine and so i believe in the future in the next 10 years this will be available in all electric cars with a new battery um 4680 uh probably in the model 3 as well which is more affordable um and let's go to exterior so we still have uh five colors to choose and um, I like the fact that these alloys are gray and uh, silver because without the chrome uh, I like them to be dark probably people are going to choose these these look phenomenal um, you know so and I like the black car now it's completely stealth um, pricey uh, paint options so but this is a premium model and this is the interior so the plate gets the carbon fiber you can get the black interior white or beige but if you choose the just coming back to the long range and then if you go to the interior you can see you have a light wood here on the beige and the white interior this is probably the favorite interior and on the dark one you get a darker wood so that's the difference in it of course there's an auto autopilot uh and like the payment but um uh, i just wanted to see uh, this spec so also uh top speed is 250 which is cool but this is 320 so 320 kilometers per hour and the plate plus the same it's wow that's impressive and then the plate plus uh 
which is 0 to 100 kilometers in 2.1 seconds or less. So on the long range, 3.2. So these are really, really impressive, um, really impressive numbers. So if I go to from Croatia, HR stands for Hrvatska for Croatia. So I'm going to go to the United States just to show you the configurator is different. So uh, they kind of changed it here. You see miles uh, and to, uh, 60 miles per hour, 3.1 for the long range plate and uh, the uh, plate plus. Uh, also, you can see here the different angles. So this is just going to be transferred to other configurators, but the US got it first. You can see close up the wheel and um, you can go down here and then you can upgrade the wheel just to see a closer look of the sport wheel. So it looks pretty nice. Um, so yeah, um, and the price, well, Tesla in the, the, the past removed the short range, uh, introduced only the long range, kind of decreased the price, but now they added plate, plate plus, so increasing the price for the performance models, but because of the competition and they want to be, you know, the more premium car, uh, the best car that's gonna be competing with other luxury um, sport models would have this kind of impressive figures specs so uh, this is not your daily driver uh, for the common masses uh, this is more for the luxury people who can afford this and uh, something like an s-class like a mercedes s-class uh, there you go so um so you can see here old new configurator and we're just going to jump quickly to the model x and just a quick look um, so, uh, interior still nice, uh, same new features on, as on the S class, uh, looking good. Uh, the rear is a little different. You can spec five, six or seven seats. Um, so yeah, I really like this, the graphical, uh, avatars on the back, just swiping through this. Um, this is all the same. We're just going to go to the spec your own model and i like this new sport wheels they're really probably my personal favorite um and also same thing with the casting uh single piece casting and this is like a play long range so let's just go to the order page and check out what we got here so long range um with creation prices and the plate so uh, long range 580 kilometers the plate gets a little bit less uh, so top speed is 250 you really don't need more and 262 so plate has 2.6 seconds 0 to 100 kilometers per hour and the long range 3.9 very impressive numbers of course and if we go to the you can see the standard wheels and these are the sport wheels Wow, these look really awesome. I love the design. They look like the classical uh, that were before. They love redesigned to have this area more because of the air efficiency, I guess, the less aerodynamics. All both cars have uh, the lowest air drag. And of course, this is all the same uh, as well. And then six or seven seats are rear row. Uh, there's no visual of the rear for some reason, but you can spec up those. And this is autopilot and payout. So I'm just going to, again, go to the US store and wrap this up. So United States. And here we can see the long range and the plate price. And you can see the specs also the range. So 2.5 seconds for the plate, 0 to 60 and 3.8. Um, so, and you can see that uh, this is the purchase price. So forget this. Um, yeah, so uh, just to check out the wheels. So this is the wheel design. I really like this. Uh, it's quite nice, uh, at least the design uh, aspect of it. And then I really like the sport one really looks phenomenal. In my personal opinion, of course, we'll have different tastes 
But uh, yeah, that was it. And I see you can see seat layout five, six, or seven view seat layout. So, oh, there we go. If you can see five seats, so extra two on the back and seven seat would add you the middle one. So the six seat uh, version doesn't have the middle one. And then the seven is just like added two row on the back on the standard model. Uh, three displays, so we're a high resolution. Um, didn't even see this. And then over here you can see the, so of course uh, USB-C's are now standard instead of A. And three zone climate, also standard yoke steering, that's what they call it. Um, so, um, but this makes sense on the US roads because they're mostly going straight. Uh, but in Europe, there's a lot of curves and bends on the road. So I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Um, so 17 inch center display, 12.3 driver display and eight inch screen in the second row. Um, that's pretty cool. So you can read all of this, of course. Um, this is just the the um, short view. Uh, and so it reverted me back to a creation. Uh, but thanks for watching. Um, tell me in the comments what you think about this whole design and the new steering wheel. That's probably the most controversial part about this car, about the refresh. But um, yeah, so uh, as always, stay safe on the road um, and at home. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.